It is day number five, YouTube. Welcome back. This is my first ever playthrough of Mass Effect. Last time I said we were going to find Liara and we didn't. So not to repeat myself, but this time we are going to be finding Liara. And after that, I'm not sure what we'll be doing. So stick around. Thanks for being here. And let's see where we end up. So I believe we want to go in there ideally, but there's obviously a shiny blue barrier there kind of looks like a swimming pool actually but I think we'll have to go down here with the boys and see what's up here we go boys are these guys gonna have any banter between each other no that was a very awkward lift moment wasn't it what is this medi gel oh! Christ One's down. No wonder there was Omni Gel there. It's like, girl, you're gonna need this. Oh, Garrus and Rex are both dead. Oh my god, that's not doing any damage. This is not going well. I should have used some of my powers. Oh, I died. You know exactly. If you see a big pile of health or ammo, you're like, oh shit. It's about to go downtown. Let's try that again, boys. I'll be more prepared this time. It did actually shock me, that. It really did shock me. Get down. On me. Come over here or hide, please. Get to cover. Why don't they go into cover? Yeah. One's down, Rex. Get in cover, my guy. Why aren't you in cover? God damn it. was pointless. Catching you up. Are they going to come back to life now? I'm better now. Thank God. That wasn't very good. Not my finest work, but let's move up. Fusion containment cell, what is that? Where's Rex? Where is Rex? Where is Rex? I'm meant to be the leader. I am the captain now. And these guys just do whatever they want. Christ. Rex can't come to the phone right now because he's dead. <gasps> Where are you, my sweet Krogan Prince? Oh my god! Please? Can you hear me out there? Yes! I'm trapped! I need help! Are you okay? Let's keep it down! What happened to you? <laughs> Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? Trapped? How did you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up. So I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth, beyond the veil! I activated Aww. the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please! I'm not gonna say you brought this on yourself. I like her. We'll say stay we'll calm, we'll help. Way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. There's a Krogan with the Geth? 
Can't relate. Where Regroup. the fuck is my Krogan? God damn it. Enemy sighted. Whoa, Garrus, please, Unlocked. please stay in cover. We did bring a Krogan, but it seems like he's taken the rest of the day off. Whoa. Nice. I'm all right with the sniper, you know. Yeah, Rex's avatar isn't even below my health bar. You're right. Where is he? Now I only have one companion. <laughs> Rex has defected to the Geth. Please, no. Say that's not true. Oh, what? Come on. There we go. Oh. <laughs> I am a shotgun girly. I'm a shotgun girly. Weapon locker. Yeah. Nice. All right, Garrus, tell me something. Oh, thank you. That's really nice. Whoa. Right, I don't know what this is. Enter override sequence? I don't... Okay. Oh, I did it. Okay. Whoa! Oh my god! I guessed it. I figured it out by myself. Weapons away. Why won't it let me do anything? Oh! Oh, it's another elevator, Garrus. Just the two of us this time, though. Excuse me. Liara! Oh, how did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. Superior firepower. See, I think that's quite a funny renegade answer because it's not being a dickhead, it's just being a little bit cocky. So I feel like that's one that I would say. I just hope that it's not one of those instances where it says this is the prompt and then she says something completely over the top and like smacks the person. So I'm a little bit scared. I don't want to risk it with Liara. I'm going to say it's not important. We have to get you out of here before more Geth arrive. Yes, you're right. I've seen enough of them to last a lifetime. That button should shut down my containment field. How does she know that? Beep. Oh, she's all right. Cute outfit. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on. I I still <laughs> cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Oh, girl. Do you think Benezia is involved? Why does she call Sarah's her mama? For the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. Obviously, he wants you to help him find it. The conduit, but I don't know. Why did she call her mum Benezia? What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. She we is a woman in STEM. We love that for her. Caving in. Joker, get the norm of the airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. On the I double, mister. Secure and away. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Oh, don't give me a timer. Don't. I don't want a timer. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is so awkward. Where is Rex? We can't leave him here. Here we go. Liara, I'm going to need you to grab a weapon because I, I, I don't know who this guy is and we don't have our Krogan friend. Oh, my God. Wait. Are we diplomats talking? Render. Or don't. That would be more fun. Oh god. Krogan Battlemaster? Kill this bastard. Oh, this is so hard. Picking dialogue options. I don't like what he just said. He just said, surrender or don't, that'll be more fun. That kind of makes me feel like he enjoys killing. We don't have time to deal with this idiot. Charge! 
charge. <sighs> I like your attitude. Okay. Is he flirting with me? Oh god. Oh my god. Somebody told me to use barrier. I don't really know what it does. This is gonna be a tough fight. Oh my god, oh my god, Gareth is dead already. Is Liara okay? She's hiding? Okay, good. I need to back up, fall back, fall back. Shit. Oh, sorry, Liara. I don't mean to bring them over to you. Oh my god, oh my god. They're fully chasing me down. What? I'm full sending. Oh, there is no way. There's no way I can do that. Spare the sorry if you can. No, oh, shit. Garrus, hide. Is here I just shot him Jesus Christ okay a barrier is Quen says MJags thank you let's go let's go Garrus no I was too late with the heal all right Rex it's me and you Yeah. Okay, it's just a Krogan battle master left. This is your boy, Rex. You need to go for him. everyone Liara's okay over there the battle master is coming up everyone focus on the battle master please Ready, ready, ready. Rex is dead, no. Okay, he's dying. Fuck. That was scary, but GG's. Everyone's out. Come on, Shep. Don't look back. We gotta go. Okay, we're all right. We're all right. Whew. GG's. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and Why is he giving me hull. this cheek, by Just the way? For future reference. <laughs> We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes. Yeah, great point, Liara. That was quite rude, but he did save us, so I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt this one time. He's thinking of the good of the ship, right? Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I see. 
It must be a human thing. Yeah. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that Great it was question. somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area Look of Look at her getting comfortable. I have spent Aww. the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Right, I want to know more about her. She says that she's spent 50 years exploring. Girl looks about 21, Just so... how old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, <gasps> but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. Ashley, a girl. may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours, but among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Aww. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Oh, bless her. What did you learn? Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery oh, solved. Oh, okay. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Cycle? So the Protheans were this extremely advanced race, but they have been completely wiped out and all their memory have been completely wiped out also. So how does she know about other civilizations that have been wiped out if there's no word of them being there? Tell Where'd me more. Up with this I'm confused. Theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. Exactly. Me and Shepard on the same wavelength. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right. Okay. And eventually, I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. We're in a hurry here. <laughs> I would never say that to Liara. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans. You need some more facts, Liara. Them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the, the mass relays in the Citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. Okay, I know what happened, do we? Okay. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. Oh, the Reapers, the okay. Reapers. Yeah, we've heard about them. The, the Reapers? But I have never heard of. How do you know this? What evidence do you have? The beacon. There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Oh, so she can continuously this... see the vision again and again. Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any <gasps> risk. Her little freckles are so cute. But the cute. beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. Oh, she's I so am smart. I'm amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Oh. This isn't helping us find Saren or the conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. That's okay, I want to talk about that. I do not have any information that could help you find the conduit or Saren. So what good are you? No. No, I can't be renegade. I'm sorry. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. 
Oh. My knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Welcome aboard. Great, another alien. <laughs> Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. Oh no. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion. Bless her. Coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to oh, bless her. think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Yes, we'll talk later. We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Oh, God, I don't know. I don't know if I want to talk to the Council right now. I guess I should. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. Yes. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. She wants to help. Actually, I'm going to say, I know what I'm doing. Don't tell me how to do my job. That's not what I clicked. You are free to act as you see fit, Commander. Our role is to offer guidance and advice. It's up to you if you're smart enough to listen. I apologize or disconnect. <laughs> I'm going to say neutral. I'm not apologizing, but we won't disconnect. Liara is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she Do they to know that... a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the Do they know that we killed Benezia? Was that really necessary, Shepard? Did I destruct the major Prothean ruin, or did it just self-combust? The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. I don't know. We haven't actually spoken about Liara's mom. That conversation hasn't come up yet. Maybe we should go find her and uh, see if we can talk to her about that because I feel like that's a conversation I want to get out of the way immediately. Let's talk to Joker. Uh, I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. Yeah. I spent the last seven weeks working on this, baby. No medal's worth that. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? I don't think I have anything to ask him. He told me about his brittle bone disease last time. I have to go. All right, see ya. All right, see ya later. Right, let's go see if we can find anybody else. Can we speak to Caden again? Why is she looking at him like that? Do you have some time to talk now, Commander? Personal crap? Not interested. Of course. Have a seat. Have a we've seat? Pretty close to the book so far, but we're a long way from backup. We've got some tough calls to make. I'm just saying, try to leave yourself a way out. I've seen what cutting corners can do, and I'd hate to have that happen to you, Shepard. Commander. Are you concerned for me? She's laying on so thick. That's not the appropriate way to address your commanding officer, Lieutenant. I wasn't speaking to you as my commanding officer, ma'am. I, I don't want to send any bad signals. Just, uh, working on what I've picked up. You tell me if I'm going too far. What the hell? He really is ready to risk it all. We haven't had much off-duty time to talk. You have an issue with how things are going? I'm not questioning any decision you've made, Shepard. Let me be clear about it's just my experience that once someone lets something slide, it tends to pick up speed. You get my meaning? No, I kind of want to say cut to the chase. You're annoying me a little bit, but... Talk to me, Caden. You got a little black rain cloud sitting over your head. Aww. I'll try to keep the deck dry. <laughs> you know the records about the biotic training out on Jump Zero? They're all classified because the Alliance made mistakes. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Kinetics. element exposures and develop implants for humans. Is that who he used to work for? Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts 
instead of taking it slow. Okay. I'm sure Kinetics did what they thought was best. It wasn't best for us. They brought in an ex-military Turian named Commander Vernus. Vernus, okay, let's remember that. You like to say, I was in hell with the dreadnought that killed your father. Whoa. When I told him my dad wasn't in the war, he'd retired to Vancouver. My family had an inland home that matured to New Beachfront. Vernus had it in for me after that. He cut oh. and pushed hard. I mean, you either came out a Superman or a wreck. A lot of kids snapped. A few died. Caden's had a rough life, hasn't he? When you cut corners, it's not always obvious who pays for it. Why are you telling me this? So why are you telling me this? Is there something I can do to help you get over it? I'm 32, Shepard. You don't start 32. as long as I have without coming to terms with yourself. You also learn that if someone is special to you, you help them. Try to keep them from making mistakes. Special. Special, huh? If I'm out of line, just say the word. I'm interested, but not now. <laughs> What's happening? I said I wasn't going to romance anyone. You're not out of line, Caden. But there are regs. I get you, Shepard. I don't make a habit of complicating the chain of command. Just think about what I said. He is flirting, isn't he? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew is. Oh, at. I think I need to exit That's... the conversation now. I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. Goodbye. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. Yeah, I bet you would. Let's continue. I don't think I've been down in this room before. Tally! What is this? Your ship's amazing. Oh, Charlie. she's so I've never sweet. I've seen a drive cord like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. This ship is special. The Normandy's a prototype, cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. Oh, that's cute. I feel like she's just an excited little young person. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a quarian. Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. That was 300 years ago. Still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. What's the flotilla? I keep hearing that word thrown around. I'm not sure what that means. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. Goodbye, Tali. I should go. See you later. See you later. Somebody on my YouTube comments made me, or sorry, made me aware of a setting that apparently I should s turn on. He said something about the squad power usage. So I currently have it set as defensive. Apparently it should be all. Is that why Garrus keeps dying? All right, that's a resounding yes. Okay. Hey, Commander, you know that Quarian Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. Oh, see, they're, they're suspicious of her, but I genuinely think she's just so inquisitive and excited. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, oh! She's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines. Oh, I'm glad. I okay, he likes her. Good. Knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I misinterpreted that. My bad, Engineer Adams. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Let's hear a little bit where about him. You, served, Adams? you name a class of Alliance ship, I've probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers right down to frigates like the Normandy. My last assignment was on the Tokyo, only a cruiser, but she was a good ship. 
Couldn't hold a candle to the Normandy, though. Okay, he seems like Carry a decent guy. Aye, aye, Commander. Aye, aye. Can't talk to this NPC. Where is Liara? I feel like we need to have the conversation. Liara, your mom. She's D-E-D. -E -D. Investigate Pharos to see why the colony was attacked by Geth. Yes, we will do that one. Where have you put Liara, woman? There she is. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. She is the best. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. I but know. I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Why? How, how does she know? Does she know Benezia's dead? And why does she keep calling her Benezia? I feel like they have an estranged relationship. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. I'd like to talk about you. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? Benezia was swept up in events beyond her control and lost herself. She fell under the spell of indoctrination and became part of the very thing she wanted to stop. Yeah, she did. But I will remember and honor how she lived, not how she died. My mother was strong, kind, and beautiful. And now she is gone. So what? who told her? Because I didn't tell her. Or me. Are you going to be okay? You are kind to ask, Shepard. I do miss her. And I grieve for what happened to her. But I will not let my grief interfere with what we are trying to accomplish. I don't know how she knows. I did the Benezia mission first, and we obviously killed her at the end. But I thought there was going to be some conversation between her and I and me be like look this is what happened it ended like this I had to do it I didn't want to do it yeah I kind of regret not doing this first and then bringing Liara with me but anyway that's the way these games go I'd like to know more about the Asari we were the first species to discover the Citadel we were instrumental in forming the council and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes my people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Aww. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Does she know it was me? I don't know. I don't know if she was debriefed and she was told. I don't know. Oh, she doesn't know it was me. I feel like this, I should tell her. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Oh! Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. That's disgusting. Any species and any gender? Oh, shit. I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term. Not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved, but it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Oh. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. Meld? We can touch the very depths of their minds. Oh. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our Aww. daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. That's so sweet. But what happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. So the Asari are all female. I love that. Who was your father? You know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. Wait, what? 
I thought you always needed another species to serve as one of the parents. Think about it, Shepard. If we were not able to mate with our own species, yeah, we would true. have died out long before we ever mastered space flight and left our home world. That Being is true. Our own kind is no longer common, not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. That's interesting, Asari isn't it? Inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained, or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood. Aww. Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face, it is a great insult among my people. It is possible Venezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. Aww. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. That's so interesting that a pure blood in their race is bad. Because usually I'm thinking of like Harry Potter and all the pure blood people who are like wizard, have both wizard parents. They seem so superior and they would call, you know, like mud blood or whatever if you have mixed parents. That's so interesting. Maybe she wanted to meet you but couldn't. Maybe something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. I hope you are. But I have no way to know for sure. Venezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. Aww. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. Wow. I feel like I have learned so much in this short I conversation. Goodbye, Thanks, Liara. She is so sweet. I'm glad we went and had that little conversation. Now we can get to Pharos. It's still not good because they look down on people due to their parentage, which isn't good either way. It was just interesting to see it in that reversed format. Good timing, Commander. We got a oh, hi, Joker. In from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Is it the ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the council. I'll patch it through to the comm room. Okay. Calm terminal. Commander Shepard, we've received information uh -oh, that may be critical go. to your mission against Saren. I don't mind. I feel like I can be a little bit cheeky to the council. You know, like that I want to have a little sprinkle of renegade, you know? I want to be polite to my crew always. But these guys, I feel like, can take a little bit of banter. You didn't seem that interested in helping me before. Why now? I think that's a reasonable response. The council agreed that CERN was dangerous, Commander. That was why we made you a spectre. We only balked at unleashing the full force of the Citadel fleet against him. Sparatus gives it back, doesn't Nobody he? Nobody on the council wants to see you fail, so we contacted you with this latest information. All right. We received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. You mean spies? <laughs> Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander, but they are only one arm of the council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever okay. they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. So they've been able to get a signal out, but not the message. Seven, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find yeah. out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. Thank you. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Okay, that's reasonable. So, we need to go to Pharos first, and then we'll go to Vermeer. I don't mean all in one stream. I and mean, we're going to go to Pharos now, see how long that takes us. I'm going the wrong way. Right, I need to go to... F this is Artemis Tau. We need to go to Pharos. We're at Artemis Tau right now. We've already done Novaria, so now we'll go to Pharos. Oh, this is pretty. Here we go. Woo! Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Let's go. Shepard, 
This is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. Admiral We've got a situation Hackett. here, and you're the only one that can handle it. Admiral Hackett. Interesting. Don't think I've heard that name before. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. It's gone rogue? Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not, not a true, a true AI. AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. <laughs> He's covering virtual his back already, right? Virtual support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground oh. with the VI core and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail safes aren't responding. Okay. The VI operates on a closed network. It can't affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answered the council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military. And right now, we need you. Okay. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. God, he's really laying on thick, isn't he? Let's continue to Pharos for now, and we'll come back to that side quest at some point. Okay, Pharos. The Exogeni Corporation has founded a pilot colony on Pharos to explore the Prothean ruins that blanket two thirds of the planet's landmass. This looks pretty cool. The atmosphere is fouled with dust. Terrestrial travel is hampered by crumbled debris dozens of meters deep. There are indications that Pharos was a much colder world in the past. Pharos has two large moons, Orkin and Varde. Let's land. Oh god, it looks a bit scary now that we're down here. Is Joker gonna drop us off? Oh, we're all parking here, okay. Okay, so I think I want to bring Liara with me just because she's new and we need to see how she does. Maybe I bring her and Garrus. I know Garrus has not been particularly reliable, but I have changed the settings so that he should defend himself a little bit better now. So we'll try Ligara and Garrus. Equalizing interior pressure. Here we go. Exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo, Exo Presley, Presley has, has the deck. deck. Are they going to be friendly here? Who's that? Guns away. David. We can talk with David. We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Who? Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They're making another push. Okay. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. I need a moment. I mean, I've got 16 points. I should probably level something up. Barrier was a good one. I should level that up. Charm. Let's do charm. Yeah. I might just update my charm all the way so I can get more um, conversation options. Allows you to immediately restore your squad members to fighting state after they've been knocked out. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> and I like shotguns, so I guess I'll upgrade them a little bit. There we go. That'll do. Garrus, you've got five points, my guy. You need something to stop you from dying all the time. Assault training, maybe? Recharges all talents so they can be used immediately. That's helpful. You may now equip medium armor. Okay, good. Let's have a look at Liara. 43? Oh, I'm going to auto level up her. I don't want to have to sit and do 43 different individual levels. Look at that. Wow. Wow. She looks cute in her little helmet, though. See how we get on. Oh shit! Goliara! What did 
she do to them? Oh my god, Liara, you're OP. Let's move up. Oh, there's two! This is pretty dark here. Okay, team. Let's push up. I can't see anything. I need a torch. Oh, here we go. Cutscene. Oh, I hear these things. Geth Stalker. Liara, take him out. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. What the hell was that? Liara's like freezing oh, them. She's so cool. I have a crush on Liara. It's so dark here. I can't see what's going on. Better go this way, I guess. Humans? Colonists. Head to the tunnels. Make sure they're secure. But what if I find Geth there? Are you saying you won't go? No, I won't go. Me? How is a woman supposed to think with guns going off all around? What are we doing on here? Okay, there's an exclamation. Hang on. Let's do some exploring in here, see if I can find anything. Cargo logs. While decrypting these logs, you found something suspicious. Several months worth of human rations were delivered to an uncharted world in the Voyager cluster. The logs aren't clear, but it appears they maybe have been dropped off somewhere in the Amazon system. My headaches. Kalanta. I just have to stop thinking about the pets. Faydan, that's who we need to speak to. Huh. Commander, I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. People Sorry, are so rude Commander. when you try and help Everyone's them. Everyone's on edge since. Watch out! Oh we no! Death in the tower. Protect the heart of the colony. What is the heart of a col the colony? What are you all talking about? <laughs> kind of like using my sniper, but not very efficient so we'll continue with other i want to try using more powers did it work what are you doing yara i love it but i don't understand <laughs> need to push into the tower i think What's up here? Enemy Whoa! This isn't a good angle. We need to push over here. Run! Whoa, 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 whoa! I healed the squad. Oh my god, Liara's powers are so cool. Garrus is doing so much better this time. Woo! Level up! Vehicle safely out of the Normandy. The Geth base is our next objective. I need a torch or something, my guys. I think Joker would sort out a torch for me. So we go back to Fidan now. Tell him the crack. Where are you, Fidan? You weren't much help. Secure. Thanks to you, Commander. <laughs> I didn't do it for you. No, I'm gonna be mates with this guy. I'm just glad your colony's safe. 
I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Why? What do they want? If you want answers, go ask them yourselves. Oh, for fuck's sake. We don't sake. know what they're after. Why? They came, they attacked us. Why is she being people. like this? Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. What's Exogeny? It's the company most of us work for before the attacks. They fund this colony. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. We're prepared. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. Yes, tell me about this tell colony. Me about your colony. Life is hard and often brutal, even without our current problems. Colonial affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place, unlike anything I've experienced before. How big was the original Pharos colony? We God, were it sounds like everything's crashing around, around us. Board my outpost. When the first wave obliterated our defenses, we fell back to Zoo's hope. I could evacuate you. Why is that a bad response? I guess he doesn't want to leave. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. Geth attack. Go to the Exogeny headquarters. Take the elevator from Zoo's hope down to the Prothean Skyway. Use your vehicle to make your way to the Exogeny headquarters and investigate Geth activity. So Zoo's hope is where we need to get to. Zoo's hope is here. Oh, this whole area is Zoo's hope, maybe? Okay, I think I understand. Is the elevator in here? Yes! Got it! Nice! I'm getting the hang of this map now, aren't I? Watch out! Holy shit! I don't know how much more I can do. Friends, did you you're alright, okay. Clear. Yes, clear, clear, clear. We need to get to the Mako. Yay! I love driving this thing. And now to the Geth base. Not something an intelligent being would typically say. Oh god, I can just tell this is gonna be bad. <gasps> There's that thing we saw. It looks like a flying insect. Oh no. Whatever we do, stay in the vehicle. Leave the Mako alone. Jesus. Lisbeth? Who's Lisbeth? She's my daughter. I'll wait as long as I have to. Okay. More mother-daughter relationships for me to ruin. Duck. What happened? What happened? I don't know what happened there. I got stuck somehow. The guest base. Not something an intelligent being would typically say. We'll try again. I need to be a little bit less reckless with the Mako, I think. She's my daughter. I'll wait as long as I have to. Continue. Oh God. It's quite difficult to navigate. We've got movement. Some kind of vehicle. Not one of the gas. It's me, it's me. We must be close. What forget them. We need to deal with the gas. Oh I've flipped. What do I do? Oh, nice. That was weird. I... Oh my god, what is happening? It's we can't off. leave. Oh no, what's up here? Just pure geth everywhere. Your geth is as good as mine. Sorry. Wait. Shut down the calm. We've got incoming gap. Damn it. Shut down the calm. Juggernauts. Oh no. I like when I 
can just run them over. Oh, they still get up though, shit. Open. go in here then, can I? Oh, these things. Tally, get him. Tally, get him. What power can I use on these boyos? Because I'm not quick enough for them. Let's push up. What are you doing here, friend? Whoa. Oh my god. Not now, Shepard. The shotgun is so OP. Oh, my radar's jammed. I can't see where I'm going. Oh. Our weapons cannot touch a field like this. We'll need, need another, another way. way in. Okay, thanks for the exposition, Liara. went the wrong way. Oh fuck, that's really difficult. Oh shit. I'm gonna fail! No! Try again. Shit, this one's difficult. Ah! Got it. <laughs> Malfunctioning object? Whoa! Friendly? Does that mean he's friendly? No, he's not friendly. Jesus, Tally's dead. No. I'll be okay. Okay, get up, please. This was a research facility, a place of learning and knowledge. It should not have become a slaughterhouse. Oh, music. Sad. I said Tally. My bad. I meant Liara. <laughs> Getting my names mixed up, sorry. Liara and Garrus does feel like a goaded team, to be honest. Liara is insane with the biotic magic stuff. Can I go down a here? -way trip down, Commander Shepard. Yes, ma'am. What's that? Oh, Jesus. Lisbeth, someone, we heard about you on the radio. I'm so sorry. I thought you were Geth, or one of those Varen. What's Varen? You're safe now. But why were you here in the first place? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running, and I stayed to back up data. Oh. Next thing I knew, the science chick. On and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. Another woman in STEM. There's so many women in STEM in this universe. I love that for them. We'll get you out as soon as we find out what the Geth are after. It's not the Geth. It's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... To the what? I'm here for the Geth. Okay, I'm it's being I'm being nice. Find out what they're after. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. Thorian? What is Thorian? that? I have never heard of such a thing. Really? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. I want to say tell me more, but not in a nasty way. What else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find the story? That concerns me if Liara hasn't heard of them. I might be able to, but not with those geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. No, not exactly. But I think the geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the geth laying power cables everywhere. You could follow those cables, but there's geth all over the place. Let's learn a little bit more Tell about Elizabeth. About I'm just a research assistant for Exogeny. I came here with my mother. Oh. I don't even know if she made it out alive. That's sad. 
Tell me what you know about the Thorian. I really don't know that much about it. I think it's some kind of plant being. I know it's very old. Thousands of years even. Okay. You stay put. I'll go open some doors. Oh, here, take my ID. Oh. This should get you past any locked doors. Good luck with that field. Thank you, friend. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, Varen. What are they doing? Are they just nibbling at his ankles? Like, what are, What were they doing? Don't like killing dogs. Stay back there, Elizabeth. We got this. See you later. I want to go up and open that door, but I'm pretty sure Liara said that we would not be going back up where we jumped down from because we can't jump in this game, remember? So we can't, we can't even give each other a leg up to get up this tiny wall. Liara, you're 106 years old. You're telling me you can't give me a leg up to jump up here. Come on. Go through that door over there. Didn't like those Varen. Didn't really get what their intentions were. They looked aggressive and then it looked like they wanted to play. Then I had to shoot them. God, it's dark in here. I hate being in dark. They are used for pretty nasty things. Stupid machine. Access encrypted files. No, not a Krogan. No, I don't want to review protocol. I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want. Krogans don't like technology. Dust. Please contact your supervisor for a level four security mm -hmm. exemption, or make an appointment with. Stupid machine! Oh my god, the Krogan's else, a boomer. Step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use. Exactly, of Komodo. Whoa! Whoa! No! Why are we suddenly fighting? Whoa! Don't full send me! No! Shepard! Oh my god, Liara just saved me. Exogeny Corporation Whoa. reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, research assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? <sighs> yeah, this VI just told on me. <laughs> There's a line forming behind you. Why did that turn to violence so fast? Liara really saved me there. Uh, how do you know I'm Lisbeth? Your access card identifies you as Elizabeth Bainham. Elizabeth Is there Bainham. You require, Dr. Bainham. What did that Krogan what want? Information was the last user attempting to access. Fetching data. The previous user was attempting Why did to he attack me? I don't know. Subject species 37, the Thorian. Did I do something? I don't think I did anything wrong there. I'm just not sure why he attacked me. Yeah, big Delamain vibes. <laughs> Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What does Zoo's Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zoo's Hope outpost. Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zoo's Hope outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. I think I already said that. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, okay. it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Have they been testing on humans? This kind of is starting to sound like The Last of Us. Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. So Species 37 is, is Thorian? You should contact Joe. Yes. Joker, come in, Joker. Damn it. Had fields blocking us. We must find a way around the field. We must get back to Zoo's Hope. No Vi kidding. What can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited This is literally ChatGPT. I have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. 
Then we do it the hard way. Let's get moving. Going to standby mode. Okay. The Thorian. Remove the force field. You need to take the Geth force field down in order to warn the Normandy about the Thorian. Disabling or destroying one of the claws might do the trick. I'm a little bit lost. Whoop! What the hell? I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go right now. Go to the main level, I guess. Is that where we've just come from? Why have you got your gun out? Whoa, 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 whoa! We might just have to go back up and then make our way around if we can figure it out. But if you go up here, you just drop off. Oh, no, I was wrong. Okay. That, this is where we just were. And then this is the stairs that I fell off. So where do I go from here? Oh, <laughs> this way. Whoa. What are they doing? All packs jump. They are a help. Shepard's been hit! Protect Shepard! Oh, nice, Liara! Liara is so OP. Maybe there's a flaw in one of the other claws we could exploit. Okay, love that from you two. Destroy Geth ship claws. The Geth ship's claws are too large to disable with conventional weapons. Find the Geth ship's primary claw and figure out a way to destroy it. Okay, so can we jump down here? Whee! Glowing orb. This structure seems to have significance for the Geth. Is it possible they set up this room to serve as a sacred temple of sorts? I need to devote resources to something like this. Let's take them out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Missed. Ah, oh, you hit. Powering up. If you don't come out of your hidey hole, you're gonna get shotgunned. Nice, Liara. Oh, we're such a good team, Liara. I can't see anything sometimes when I'm walking around here. Whoa. Whoa. Don't know what warp does. Liara, what are you doing to them? No! I hate the way they charge like that. stood there oh god he's pushing us Garrus is dead no he's not is there another one back there another Krogan shotguns coming out that time. There we go. Good night, Krogans. See, but why is this pitch black? Like, this seems stupid. Oh god, this is a tough one. It's jammed, which usually means there's enemies. I smell trouble. I smell trouble. Whoa. Why do they always come straight for me? Ah. 
average decryption? All right, bet. Yeah. Confidential. The test samples were due to arrive three days ago, but we haven't heard anything from the colony or the cargo vessel. We suspect the samples became volatile and recommend cutting off all further contact with the Nodacrux colony. Hmm. Even if the colony is discovered, no one should be able to trace the events there back to us. Oh, we need to go round the back somehow. I fear we do not Here we go. Gear to destroy this claw. We will have to keep looking. Uh oh. Be good if I could, you know, see them. Whoa! I don't like that noise. Jesus Christ, a predator. Christ, fuck this, fuck this. Guys, move up. Oh my God, oh my God, fall back, fall back. Oh my God. No, Tally, help me. Not Tally, sorry, Liara. Female companion, Garrus is dead. So it's just the two of us, my gal. No, get away. This is a great this is a great tactic we've got. We corner them into this narrow alley and then we can kill them all. It's coming up the stairs. They appear to have grappled through some sort of containment lab. All right, let's push up then. Jing. Yes, Garrus, my guy. Welcome back. Oh god, this one's tricky. I'm stuck! Oh fuck, I'll try one more. Shit. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this now. <gasps> one more. This fucking little mini game. See, when I get it, I get it. Shuttle bay door controls. Mm. Activate. Sure. Okay. You find a repair ticket attached to the console. The damn door to the shuttle bay is fried again. Works fine if the PSI is 30 or lower and the safety shutoff kicks in if the PSI gets above 34. But if the PSI is in the 31 to 34 zone, the door slams down with enough power to shear through a metal eye beam. Somebody fix this before one of my team loses an arm in that thing. Right, fuck, whoa. So 13 plus 11, 24. 24 plus 7 is 31. You saw that quick maths, right? Well done. Our way out should be clear now. We can go address this Thorian issue. Keep your guard up. There still might be a few Geth inside the base. All right, Garrus. There we go. We got Anyone there? We got Joker. Norman need a shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? Obviously, that's Joker. Here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking oh, out. Oh, God. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. This is gonna be fun. We're leaving. But let's rid this place of those damn synthetics before we go. So exit Exogeny. You have destroyed the Geth ship. Now get Lisbeth 
and leave Exo Jenny. Okay, I think that's a good place to end. So we got Liara, stormed through Theros. So next time we'll go back, get Lisbeth and get the hell out of here.